so we're going to get into it. This, we are, for everybody jumping on, we are doing a Victorian goth style tumbler. Now, can you please leave me a smiley face in the comments if you know what a Victorian gothic tumbler is. If you don't, um, I'm going to explain it to you very briefly. Uh, the first, you have to have a theme. Um, floral themes are very popular. Skull themes are very popular. Lace themes are very popular. Um, if you can find, you know how you can buy bundles sometimes and they have like a watercolour theme? If you can find one like that that has like mock antique magazine covers and stuff like that in it, you can go that kind of theme. Um, I've seen a couple of people do it in the style of a travel with like antique maps and stuff like that. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it isn't supposed to be bright and happy. We don't think sunflowers, think black and purple roses. Does that make sense? Okay, so we want to keep it a little bit dark and mysterious and sultry and right. Um, but you know, obviously we're not going to be putting zombies on. Oh. Tell you what... If you found the right um, graphics to do a zombie cup, you could probably get away with it. But yeah, no, me personally, um, I've this will be the third one of these that I've ever made. The first one I did, I did do skulls and roses. Um, the second one I did, I just did a watercolour floral thing because I found, uh, you know how Creative Fabrica have like the freebies? It was a um, bundle that was free one day with them. Um so this will be my third and we're going to Alice in Wonderland so as always at the end of the video I'll go in and I'll drop links for see how secretive I'm being um I'll drop links of where I got everything but I got this bundle from uh Creative Fabrica okay so I'm trying to sort them into main event and i'm missing flowers no i'm not okay so starting from the top my biggest ones um now oh actually no starting from i'm getting ahead of myself starting from the top i have a tumbler that i have already prepped um spray painted and put a coat of epoxy on um now i spray painted this black at first and then i looked at it and thought mm, we could add some color to that so I've, no, it wasn't black, sorry. It was Royal Navy Aussie export paint I put over the black. Um, and then I looked at the blue and I was like, no, I'm still not happy with that. So I have used, oh, I should have written the names of these down. It's uh, the Dark Purple Aussie export spray paint. And this is, I want to say it's Marine something from rust -Oleum. But I will double check the names of them and put them in the description as well. And kind of just went sh 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 around the cup to get this colour. Now, once I had that on there um, and I was putting my epoxy on, I realised that so much goes onto this cup that you're not even probably going to see the base anyway. <laughs> um, so usually solid colours are the way to go. I tried to get um, more for, like, if you put, depending on what glitter you're putting over it, you want the base um, to make it so that you don't need more than one coat of glitter, basically. Um, but I thought I was being super creative by doing this, only to realise most of it's going to be coloured up, covered up anyway. So uh, I am using white water slides tonight. White water slides work clear water slides do work depending on the look that you're going for like i said um one example would be if you do a really pretty pink like a baby pale pastel pink as your base um, and then you're doing a floral theme over the top that would look really nice on a clear water slide um because i wanted because these images aren't super vibrant to begin with um i did put them on water slide just to make them pop a little bit more and to keep with the dark Alice theme. Um, Karen, you didn't miss much. I just said that Anna is back on Friday doing her Wing It With Anna series, which is a Wee Wah series. Um, I'll let Anna explain that in the comments if she wants to. Um, otherwise, you have to wait till Friday. But it is a series that her and I have done a few times before and it always seems popular. So we're bringing it back. For, I think this is the first one for 2022. 
Um, Creative Fabrica is one of my favourite sites. Mine too. Um, I don't pay for a lot of subscriptions, but Creative Fabrica is one that I, I don't mind paying for because I get my money's worth with them. Um, okay, so yes, I'm using a white water slide. Uh, another thing that also works is if you have printable vinyl and you do print and cut with your printable vinyl, that works as well. Um, I have a inkjet printer for... Um, all of my like water slide printing and stuff like that so if you have an inkjet printer you do need to seal um, your water slides and your um, printed vinyl before they go in the water or under resin um, and I prefer to use Rust-Oleum two times in the clear I think I'm using gloss at the moment but it doesn't really matter which one first things first we're going to put um, like I said pick a theme or even pick a color combo um, and then go to Google or Creative Fabrica or something like that and type in, say you chose purple. Um, purple themed watercolor images or something like that. You want to get bundles. That's why I recommend Creative Fabrica or places like Design Bundles and stuff like that, right? Something where you can find images that you can then use as the print and cut part. Very Johnny. Um, I'm with you there. I think I have this... Fetish is the wrong word. Fascination. I have this fascination with watching any court case. All right, so I'm I'm very involved in that one at the moment. And I'm losing a lot of sleep watching that one at the moment. Um, yeah. So your vinyl or your printed uh, your printed vinyl or your water slides. That's your theme. Okay. So pick a theme. It doesn't have to be Alice. Uh, like I said, florals, skulls, travel. Right. Pick a theme or an idea from there. Pick your colour combo. Now, obviously, with these ones, I'm going to be using teals and blues and lilacs and, um, like, deep purples and stuff like that, which is why I have... Two, four, six, eight, I've got... I narrowed it down to eight glitters. At one stage, there was, like, 20 on my desk. I've narrowed it down to eight glitters. A uh, custom mix that I mixed up for another cup ages ago that I thought I'd use up if I need it. Um, some chameleon flakes, right? These aren't the ones that look good over a black base. Um, if you have uh, the starlet version um, from the Shimmer Shack, um, where they're white to colour, you'd have to put them over a black base, which is why I'm using these ones tonight, um, because I don't have a black base. And then I'm using um, LBB's gold foil flakes as well like i said busy so what we want to do first is kind of figure out where everything's going to go so i'm going to start with our big guys first and i am using dr decal water slide paper because I will not use any other water slide paper now that I found them. Um, obviously, you can get water slide paper cheaper on eBay. Um, but when I first started doing water slides, I was getting mine from eBay and Amazon. Um, and then I needed some... You know how... Um, well, in my experience, they're really thin. And you have to do the tattoo method, which is where before you print it, you flip the image... Um, and then when you go to put it on your cup, you put it on your cup face down and slide the paper off like you would a tattoo. Um, I had to do that because the paper was so thin even after sealing. Um, I really needed some in a hurry one time, so I ordered it off Dr. Deacon. I thought, oh, I'll pay the extra couple of bucks, right? No worries. I know that it'll be here by the end of the week. That was it. I was sold. Um, it is a little bit thicker to begin with. Um... And it's just, it is. It's so much easier to work with. And if uh, anybody went to YouTube to watch um, any of my pen tutorials where I do the pen wraps, um, you'll see what I mean, right? You can literally lay it flat and roll your pen in it um, because it's so cooperative. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of water on my cup. Here he comes. See, that's already come off the backing paper. Okay. So... We're going to put him down... I need one of these. We're going to push all the water out from underneath him. Pat him dry so he doesn't go sliding. 
Voila. No shitty cat. Okay, so I reckon about here. Let's put no, I'm gonna do Alice because then they're kind of looking nope. They're not they're looking the same way. Okay. Well Alice can go here. See what I mean about the water slide? So easy to work with. Right. So I'm having trouble. This guy's neck doesn't want to cooperate. No, no, not again. Okay. We got it. <gasps> no, you stay. Okay. Does anybody have any questions so far? First bought from eBay and it was shit. I was really happy I was pointed towards Dr. Deco. I know. Me too. I won't ever use anybody else ever again. Okay, let's put our hat on right here. With his hand pointing up. There we go. No. No. I almost ripped his little um, saucer off. Look, he's so unimpressed. He's like, how dare you? You want to have enough on there that you can get your message across, um, but not so many that they fill the entire cup because we're now going to go in, and this is what I meant by a timely um, tutorial. Um, we're now going to go in and fill up as much of that empty space with glitters and flakes and stuff as we possibly can. So it ends up being a full coverage cup it is very busy. That's the point. It's supposed to be creative chaos. Okay. Um, another way that I've seen this done um, is if uh, you treat it a little bit like a peekaboo. Um, I'm not going to do that tonight. But you'd put your glitter down, epoxy, spray paint over it. Then you'd start doing what we're doing now. But instead of putting the glitter on like I'm doing tonight, you'd get some cotton buds and some acetone and start wiping it away like you do with um, like the Motherhood's uh, Walk in the Park cups, you know, the Jurassic cups where they do the um, distort. The It's called distorting, isn't it? Um, no, it's not. Uh, you know, you know what I mean. It's does, does it even start with D? It's gonna bug me now. Can somebody help me, please? Um, it's not distorting. It's it's right there. Distressed. Thank you. I have done a tutorial on them, um, but I did it my. I think that was a wee while, wasn't it, Anna? Um, Anna and I don't actually consult before a wee while. Um, we just pick a theme right and then she does it the way that she thinks how it's done I do a tutorial for it um, and there's been quite a few times where we've gone completely different directions in our methods um, and I'm pretty sure that's the way that she did it with the spray paint and the uh, the acetone and the alcohol and whatnot to get that distressed look um, I've seen ones where they do um, it's called like a gypsy swirl so they have that strip that goes the whole way around the cup in a diagonal direction that's where they do a lot of their printed bit um, and then they build up around that with flakes and glitter and stuff as well so it really is entirely up 
to your thanks guys um to your creativity which is why it can be a little bit challenging but it can be a lot of fun okay uh, there is no rhyme or reason to it you just you let it flow okay. i have picked two different kinds of white slash opal glitters uh, two different types of champagne gold um, a really deep purple like blue violet um, a lilac -y lavender color um, a bluey gray color and what's the last one a teal if that makes a difference nope still blue I'll take a picture of it and post it in the comments when we're done because I'm not crazy it's dark purple mm. I am crazy but it's dark purple okay um let's get into it all you really need after that um flakes flakes are a must okay gold flakes pink flakes purple i've got purple flakes from glitter your world i've got pink flakes i've got rose gold flakes right these kinds of flakes not so much this kind but this kind is essential to this style of tumbler okay you can use all of the glitters and mica powders you like but you have to have at least one color of like these these flakes right you know the ones that stick to everything and go everywhere and yeah them see tack it um i wouldn't use mod podge um because mod podge is very thick um tack it i like because it's thin um and it dries in a way that's still sticky after it dries so if i'm talking too much or i get distracted by the kids or something i just like tack it because then you know it's not going to dry on me and not be usable it will dry on me and i can still use it um that and it just applies a lot thinner where's my paintbrush it just applies a lot thinner um so it's a little bit easier to control now that i've got all you on there before i begin because I'm a tight ass when it comes to my glitter and I don't like wasting any so, over this little sheet we've created what do we want to do first I reckon I'm gonna go in with my theme colors and then these and then the golds and then if i need them i'll go in with the whites yeah okay so with me brush and a little bit of tack it we're going to start and this is where your creativity will really start to shine All right because now you've got to figure out where you're going to put all the glitter now i'm not being too precious with going around the outline okay if it goes on him it goes on him okay so. i'm not going to wait for the tacket to dry i don't need it to be in a way that i can burnish it off because we're not going to be burnishing it going to bed is janine going to bed or is joe oh bye joe i probably missed you but bye if you watch the replay does anybody else have kids home tomorrow because of the industrial strike in new south wales i'm pretty sure it's only happening in new south wales twins are home tomorrow and can i tell you they are absolutely heartbroken so heartbroken about the fact that they don't have to go to school tomorrow they don't care why they're striking they're just like it's no school my eldest however um he started high school this year so he goes to a private school um a tiny tiny like there's no there's no kids there um, in all of year seven and eight, I think there's like 32 kids or something in both grades combined, tiny school. But he has to go to school tomorrow. 
And I can't tell you how thrilled he is about that when his little sister and brother stay home, especially when um, my, my son Ryder, uh, he's 12, but he's on the spectrum. He has Asperger's. Um, so even though the teachers are striking tomorrow and I have no control over that at all, um, in his beautiful brain, um, I'm sending him to school and letting the twins stay home because the twins are obviously my favourite children. Um, and that it was a big afternoon for him when, when, when he found out they weren't going to school tomorrow. Um, there was a lot of talking this afternoon through his feelings about that and me trying to explain to him that it wasn't like if if, it, if I had my way they'd be going to school so he's going to be a little bit clingy tomorrow I feel when he gets home from school which is not good because Logan has training in Tyree tomorrow so I'm not going to be home tomorrow afternoon so it's going to be an interesting afternoon for my poor mum so that's where we're sitting with the regal tang at the moment okay um, so now I'm going to go in with my other dark colour, which is Dancing Queen. And just fill in some more random gaps. I don't want my two dark colours to be anywhere near each other. Alright, so with this purple spot here, I'm putting this here. Because then it gives me, well, in frame, Laura, right? So there's my dark purple, my teal's going here, and that's going to have that buffer in the middle, okay? You don't want them sitting side by side. And that is Dancing Queen. So let's go in with, this is Vita Goldstein. This is like my lavender-y, lilac-y one. Um, and again, I'm just going to splodge her where she's not touching anywhere else. But it also doesn't matter as much with the distance. Okay. I have a little... thing flying around I don't know what it is it's not a mosquito I want to say a fruit fly but that doesn't make any sense why a fruit fly would be in here there's no food or anything um like a tiny little gnat almost does Australia get gnats starting to take a bit more structure now that we get more colors on the cup This is a doctor, Dr. Nipke Stomp. And this is my blue gray. Now we're going to put some in here like this. Whoops. She's a bit enthusiastic, this doctor. She was ready. There we go. Look at that. Uh, um, but you've got your two dark colours, your two complementary colours, and then after that you need to pick your accent colour. Now your accent colour, nine times out of ten, is going to be the same colour that you use for your foils. But... Oh, that didn't work, did it? Foils. Yeah, in frame. Um, obviously, that's not going to work too well tonight because I'm not a go. I'm, I'm judgmental and biased, okay? These are the flakes that I'm using. I don't like gold. I'm not a gold person. I am a silver person all the way, but I thought gold would finish this, this design off a lot better than silver would. So we're going in with gold, but the thing that I like, dislike even more than gold is yellow gold 
So, to soften the yellow gold a little bit, that's why I picked the champagne. Okay? So, accenting. Okay? Um, in all the designs that I've seen and all the designs that I've done, it's always been a rose gold or a silver or a gold or a bronze, right? Um, doesn't mean you have to do it that way, but that is usually the um, route that most people take. Um, so we're going to go with gold tonight. Um, I am running out of spaces where I can put glitter without it touching other glitter, so... We might have to improvise here and break the rules. Hmm. Let's do Lucky Charm because at least you Aussies can get Lucky Charm. one's a little bit chunky so we're going to flatten it down and there she is Anyhow. this means tweezers guys I knew what my mind was trying to tell me okay I'm putting them on when they want to stay I'm pressing them in okay I'm going I'm not going to use it I'm just going to use my fingers because we're running out of time and I know I'm left-handed guys so let's try and do this in a way where you can see what I'm doing say so I put it on and I press it down Maybe I'm not going to be able to use gloves after all. Okay. Try and get it where it's not reflecting so much. Okay, so I'm starting to build up. My gold vein. If you go over the glitter that you've laid down, don't cry about it. This is the part where you just don't right once you reach the foil you should not be giving a fuck anymore okay you just press it wherever it wants to fall press it down make sure it's stuck don't do what I just did and pull it all off push that in there like that so pretty Ta -da. That's our first part. See? And then it's going to start taking shape. So I'm going to go through what's the time. I'll do one more section. But that's pretty much all you do now. Is you go through with your foil. And you fill all of the gaps. If you end up going over spaces that you've already glittered. Or that your design is on. Don't stress. Because that's the whole point um, of the flakes. Is to provide that textured chaos. For lack of a better way of putting it. Right? The more out of the box, outside the lines that you go. The better. The more foil that you use. Like I said, don't be afraid 
don't be shy and have like tiny tiny little bits we want the right there's a bit of foil there already we want big see that bit there we want big bits of the gold because once it's all spray sealed and put together um it's the foil amongst the glitter that gives it that real see that that effect <laughs> good night belinda we're going to finish up now anyway. I'm going to do one more section. Um, and then I'm just... Probably tonight. I might wind down a little bit and finish my tea. i got a Chiquito bar. So I'm going to eat my Chiquito bar. Because that's my good girl. You went live and did the thing. Treat for after my live. Um, watch a bit of true crime and finish off this foiling. Um, and then, uh, as always, once it's all finished, I'm going to spray seal it all in and then I will film the final coat off screen to be part of the version that goes onto YouTube. Okay, guys, let's do this. Here she is. She's finished. She has all of her foil on. She has had two coats of spray seal. And now we're going to put her first coat of resin on now because there is so much going on here i'm going to put a really thick coat of resin on now um and then i'll probably do a final coat on top of that um okay, i'm just going to move a couple of things around on my desk and bring you guys a little bit closer there we go okay so i have mixed up 30 mils of uh amazing clear cast plus um, that's as big as my measuring cups will go. Um, well, these little medicinal ones anyway. So we're starting with 30 mils. And like I said, because there's so much going on, it's probably going to need a final coat on top of this 30 mils. Um, but I won't be doing that on camera. I just wanted to finish this cup off, uh, so that I can get it uploaded for you guys to learn from. So... The spray seal that I used was the Rust-Oleum two times in the clear. I'm using the satin one. At the moment, it got two coats. And now, we're going to bring her all up again to be all pretty and sparkly after that spray seal went on. So, I'm trying to be very gentle with my swiping um, because I don't want to stuff up all the. There's so much foil on this cup, so much gold foil. Look at it. I love it. I don't think I've ever used so much of that gold foil on a project yet. Or oh, now I have. Do the bottom. Making sure that this rim around here has a really good coat on it. So that when I go to put the rest of the epoxy on, all of that is covered. It's going to level out over it. Because uh, when resin levels out, it only levels out over the spots that have resin, funnily enough. Um, it won't level out onto any uh, spots that you haven't told it that it needs to level out over, basically. Uh, same with like when you do your top rims, especially where the glitter is. Feather out like this. Okay. Making sure that all through, like with this chunky glitter, right... I want to make sure that that resin is covering that completely so that when I go to put the rest of there's about 20 mils here so there should be more than enough right but once I go to put the rest of the resin on it's going to know where to level out to okay we want this coat especially to be a nice thick coat to make sure that there's no spots that's bumpy uh, any spots that's going to lift um, etc I didn't I actually thought it was going to be thirstier than it was um, 
Having said that though, I just put the whole 30 mils on. Um, I am getting some drips behind me here. Um, and it looks like it's sagging. But I think it has more to do with this turner because this arm is so long. This arm's like double the length of um, what I usually use because I wanted enough room to hold it when I was doing the live without feeling like the cup was right up against my hand and um, yeah I forgot to change it over before we put epoxy on so I think it is sagging down the bottom but it's going to be moved over to my turner table in a second anyway I'm starting to get some foil moving around that's come out from under the ceiling sealant not sealing as in on the roof um, so I'm just going to move them out of my way. There we go. How pretty. Okay, so I'm going to hit this with some heat uh, just to level it out and to pop any bubbles. Um, and then I'm going to move it over. Please make sure that your turners are level and aren't jumpy. This is the worst example of a turner ever. Um, I'm, I've got to get some replacement parts for um, a spare turner that I have. And then I'm thinking about just swapping them over. Um, and putting this one into retirement until I can get a new motor and redo it. I think the motor's on its way out. Um, but please make sure that your turners are level. Um, otherwise you get what I call um, chunky bums right you get the big um, bulges down the bottom um, so it's not staying on this turner so I'm gonna let it turn um, and then once it's finished I'll take photos and start editing this video and get it up to you guys to watch and learn from but thank you very much for joining me um, I hope that you really enjoyed this one I had so much fun doing this one um, Alice in Wonderland is my cup of tea. I, I so when I found the the dark um, the dark Alice file, I got a little bit excited. But I'm in two minds whether I want to keep this one or sell this one because originally I was going to add it to my son's fundraiser. But the more that I've worked with this cup, I'm not a gold person. I think that's the only thing that's stopping me um, is that I'm not a huge fan of yellow gold. Um, but the more that I've worked with this cup, the more that I've grown attached to it. So I'm still two months whether I'm going to make it for me. Um, but thank you all for coming along this ride with me. I hope you've learned something. Please give me a thumbs up, um, and click that red subscribe button. So, uh, my next goal is 2k and I am getting very, very close to that 2k goal. So your support is very much appreciated and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.